So I thought of doing a makeup tutorial today so that I also get into practice because I hardly put makeup and I will lose touch with makeup. So first I'm going to protect my hair by putting it all back. I don't want it to come on my face. So this is a hair buff from Maintain. So you can buy it. It protects the hair while you sleep too. So I'll be protecting my hair first. It's cold here. Could be using the Chanel Hydra Beauty. This is so good for extremely dry skin. Just a little bit so that my skin stays hydrated. After I apply a moisturizer, I let it soak into my skin nicely and then I start with the next procedures like the foundation or whatever. So I let it be on my skin for one to two minutes and I'll get back. So now I'm gonna be using the concealer. This is my oldest concealer guys. It's from MAC Studio Finish in the shade NC42. I picked this up around like maybe 10 years back. And yeah, I'm not supposed to use such an old product, but it's okay with my skin. I have not got any rashes as such, so I use it before splurging on anything else. So I will be applying it on my eyes first nicely to cover any darkness and discoloration. I mostly like to use my fingertips guys because I know like, you know, I have like a judgment as to how much goes in and all that. I used to use and maybe at times I might use, times I like to use a beauty blender and so on but to be frank, I don't have the beauty blender right here. I left it in Mumbai. And I don't want to buy a new one. And many a times I don't use the beauty blender. Keep it clean and all that headache. No, I feel it looks pretty natural. Now I'll be concealing everything with the LA girl. Oh, everything is, the print, everything has come out. This is LA Girl Nude Beige. Again, this is an amazing color for my skin. Like, it's it's perfect. I to feel. What am I doing? Conceals everything and it helps in not spreading or creasing it's already creasing here i guess okay the nc42 is really old and it's not in the best condition but i can still manage with it like today i feel i need a new one it's so expensive i don't want to waste money it's not a waste it's not wasting but still mm. Yeah. So for the eyes, I'm going to begin with a lipstick and I have seen videos where you can apply this as an eyeshadow as well. This is like my favorite lipstick at least, Maybelline 20 Pioneer Lip Color. So I'm going to be using very, very, very little. One eye at a time. Oh, it's really bright, but I can work with it. Let's try something different, guys. Just smudging it with my fingertips. And my mirror has got all vaporized. Because it's so cold here. I need to work fast with this, I guess. Because once for it's a liquid lipstick. Yeah. I need a brush. Take this one. To work fast with this, guys. Yeah, pretty 
okay uh, this brush is pack 026 I need a little bit more of the color I think I'll take it with the brush itself and go below my eyes I hope it goes fine <laughs> I think it should go. Just smudging it carefully. By the way guys, in the past four days I'm having severe left hand shoulder back pain no idea why hope i'm not getting a heart attack like i don't mind getting but i don't want to get paralyzed i want to like die in one shot i know it sounds so pathetic but yeah oh god i like it so now I'm going to be taking the Rose Bowl palette from Huda Beauty. This is my favorite like. None can beat this. Means at least for me I keep using this. So I'll be taking Shy. Taking a little bit of the Shy and just going over here. I even forgot the terms. What it's supposed to be. It's been ages guys. Taking another brush and I'm going to go with the man eater. On just top of shy actually on very light fingers like not too harsh because the color is already very dark so like yeah it looks pretty good till now I hope I don't miss it yeah Really nice thing now. Wow, I kind of like it. I didn't plan for this, guys. It's just on the spot decision. Mm. So now, what do I do? I just want to darken the corners actually. So I'm going to be taking cocoa. I'm just applying it on the corners. Like, yeah. And bring it in. Little bit, not much. Yeah. Not bad, I guess. Taking the previous brush, taking a little bit of the man eater again, and just going through it again. Okay, so here I stop. Initially, I decided I will not go like this, I'll just fill in here, but 
think it's okay. No harsh lines. Now, I want a little bit of glitter because without glitter, my life is dead. So I'm going to be taking 24K on my fingertips and applying in the center. Wow. Such a beautiful color, guys. Oh, I love it. Little more baby. <laughs> I don't want to go too high, I just want to be a little low, just on the center. Wow, it's quite nice. So now, I'm going to be taking again, Man Eater, going on my lower eyes. Okay, I think it's pretty okay. I hope so. I'm taking another brush. This is Make Up For You. I'm gonna be taking the shade Angelic. Very little of it. And applying the inner corners. Shoulder pain is so bad. I'm not going to be applying an eyeliner, nothing of that sort. Just taking my mascara. This mascara is from MAC. I had got it in their limited edition, Diwali collection. So I'm going to be applying that. Oh, guys, am I getting a heart attack because my left hand is paining so badly. So now I'm going to be applying loads of mascara. First all my apple ashes. This mascara takes a little extra time to dry actually. And because the climate here in Uti is like worse, it doesn't take more time to dry. I kind of like my eyes after so long. By the way guys, uh, my left eye, I'll be applying it off camera so guys i've almost got done with this eye but you can see there is a difference between both the eyes like slight difference so i have to do something because this is the case always and guys i know many kids also can do makeup better than me but i thought like if i do the tutorial i can get better so don't be too harsh on me i know like and the thing is, uh, when I look into the mirror and do, it's very tough for me because I always stand and, you know, do my makeup. By the way, I'm taking Man Eater and just going a little above the crease because this is gone like that and I want this also to be matching. Okay. I need to lighten it a little bit, I feel. The cocoa in this corner is like too prominent. That's what I feel. Like this is really smooth and nice. This is very sharp. That's what I feel. I think I need to take shy again just make it a little yeah light yeah I don't want any harsh lines as to like very prominent guys I'll just go with a little bit of man eater and put it here I hope I don't end into looking like a Kathakali I mean Kathakali is really nice but yeah
so guys i don't know which eye is better but definitely both are not matching that's what i feel take the 24k and i want to go a little bit again little above just darkening it this is too harsh i need to lighten the cocoa i mean cocoa is too too harsh on the corners of the side that's what i feel this is not this is blended like really nicely and this is like harsh like a cocoa is too harsh I need to lighten the cocoa so maybe i take another shade i'll take henna no i'll take bossy Take bossy and just lighten it a little bit. I'll apply on this side too. Yeah, now I think it's looking a little similar. Though my right eye I feel is better. I just saw in the mirror that this one is really, really, really dark compared to this guy's. And I don't know what am I gonna do because I try to lighten it. It just doesn't want to budge. So I'm keeping it this way and let's see. Oh, maybe. Okay, let's go the other way around. I'm going to darken this one. Yeah. Taking cocoa and darkening this. Someone has to compromise, guys. So it's this one which has to compromise. Yeah, sorry. Now, yeah, it's pretty much a little similar, I guess. Yeah. Please tell me it's a little similar. Okay. It's time to go on to the remaining face. So I'm going to apply the concealer again and conceal anything which I feel is going to cause discoloration. So yeah, let's go on. This concealer is heavy duty guys. And I like it. Oh, oh my god. I don't want to mess this again. That's why, you know what, guys? I don't put much makeup because ultimately it turns into a mess. And this time I'm like, I am not going to not shoot this video. <laughs> I know because I'm like always... You know, I always gave up in between. I'm like, I'm not shooting. So now I'm doing a little cheat with the concealer <laughs> to get into a good shape. Maybe. Still in doubt. Most of my pictures, guys, you see, is without makeup. Because I don't have the patience. <laughs> Let's apply some makeup on my specs marks. And then on the sides of the nose where it turns red. And the sides of my lips 
but there's little discoloration due to veins this makes my skin really yellow but it's fine with me like i have no problem and i'm so happy using my fingers because my skin is really moisturized if it was not moisturized then i would have had like a tough time Then with the concealer and my hand is really aching now let's go on to the foundation yeah i hope so it's gonna be good this is again from la pro coverage high definition long way illuminating foundation in the shade fair taking one pump behind the back of my palms like yeah if it made sense This is uh, Flawlessly Me from Pack. This is heavy duty guys. I mean, <laughs> I didn't think like I'm going to be applying so much. Yeah, but when I apply makeup, it should be worth it, right? I need to utilize everything. <laughs> this brush is too good guys. If you don't have a foundation a brush or if you don't have beauty blender and you're searching for one try this it's really good Those who ever want to correct me, do it guys, without being rude. One more pump. You can of course correct me and I know my mistakes actually, but yeah. And I'm thinking I'm going to like keep on applying makeup and showing you guys like that's how I feel I can get better. Time for forehead. By the way, I'm shooting this from my phone, okay, guys. And I feel the color of my skin is shown quite close to what it should be on this camera. Whatever is left, I apply it on my chin and upper neck because I'll be wearing a polo neck. No use of applying makeup on my neck as such. But if you are showing your neck, then apply it on your neck. Heavy duty is done. And this flawlessly me really helps. Now going back to compact again. LA girl in the shade nude beige. Taking nice amount of it. You give the eyeshadow back. You know, covering up under my eyes because that's where it creases the most. So I need to be careful about that. And go very, there's some freaking glitter coming out from somewhere. And go very lightly on the remaining face. Like I don't dab again, whatever's remaining on this. I like to apply but under my eyes 
I will take a fresh dab. And a little bit on my forehead. Don't hate me, guys. <laughs> now it's time to chisel my face. And this is from Nika. This is a foundation stick 07. And this works well for me for contouring. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of it very lightly. Yeah, oops, it's the same. Oh, the natural light is fading off and I cannot see now much. Oh, a lot of glitter is on my face from there. I'll do the nose last. And this is the brush from Pack 237. I'm going to blend it with this. So basically, when I contour, I look a little chiseled. Like my cheekbones are already high, it just looks higher. So it just helps to get a little bit of definition. Oh, this one has got a little darker than this. This sign is always a mess, I guess, for me. Either I can't see, or what is it? Uh, this side is really nice, and I'm so bugged right now. So what I'm going to do is, just going to take the foundation for flawlessly me, and just, yeah. <laughs> and then, go through it that's a cheat again but when it comes to me i have to do it because i'm not an expert yet and how long will i say this no idea yeah. come on get me the chisel look baby <laughs> okay but i need to contour my nose too So I'm going to be taking this brush, Makeup For You, smudge brush, but I'm just taking a little bit of this. And applying it here on my nose, from here. God, don't get me much hate. I think the grand finale will be good because then I go and see myself properly in the mirror and rectify. <laughs> Maybe. Taking the brush again from back and just going through this. Mm. A little sharp nose. Oh, there is no light right now, guys. Oh, I'm so sorry for this. Taking the hula, what is it called? This was extremely hula, yeah, that's all from benefit. A little more chiseling, baby. Guys, I'll just on the lights. I don't know why you didn't do that. I can't even see, yeah, a little better. At least I can see myself because now. Like sometime back, I just couldn't see myself. There's no light here. Natural light is all gone. I can just see fog. Yeah. And that's all I want to do now. It's time for some blush. Some pack. Professional artist cosmetics. I mean, baked highlighter in the shade 10. It's beautiful pinkish coralish color with a little bit of shine. Little bit, quite a bit of shine. 
I'm going to be applying not on my apples, but just on top of where I contoured. And I feel that works for my face structure because I'm on the heavier side. So just gives me a little sleeker look. Yeah, I don't want my apples. So where do I apply? I just apply it on top of where I contoured. It's a beautiful color guys. Take me a bit of applying on the bridge of my nose. Chin and upper lip. This gives a nice rosy rosy color. Mm, I like my face now a little bit. <laughs> okay, I uh, need for need to apply highlighter I'm going very light on the highlighter this is from benefit girl meets pearl so if you want like a natural highlighter this is too good Top of this of course you can apply powder but today I want to go light like this you know natural finish and all that obviously not when the eye is so heavy so yeah which finger I can use this one Ooh la la, the shine is amazing. Though I usually don't apply like this, I don't dab this on my face. I don't know why did I do that. <sighs> and the highlighter, I bring it on the apples of my cheeks, guys. So you got the drill. I don't apply the blush on my apples. I apply the highlighter. It just gets me a nice glowy glowy finish. And if you apply like powder on top of this, the finishing is too good guys. Uh, do I have any brush? My fingers are all like with different colors. I feel like going more on the highlighter. Like with a powder finish, I need to go and check which one. Let's go. I'm gonna drag it like I dragged it towards the apples of my cheeks. Mm, I like this finish. Bridge of my nose, which finger, this one can I take? Apples, sorry, chin, upper lip. In between my eyebrows. I haven't done my eyebrows yet. I have to do that, I'll do that in the end. Guys, not so happy with the highlighter because I need a lot of highlighter right now, I feel. I'll go and check which highlighter I can take and get back. So guys, I went and got this highlighter, this is from Hourglass, Ambient Lighting Edit. This palette is beautiful. I'm gonna be taking the highlighter. And this brush is pack 0 to 8. I'm applying on top of where I apply the liquid highlighter. This is too good, guys. Like, now I'll go overboard with this. I mean, it always happens. It's too good. But if you have open pores now, especially here, it highlights it. So, you'll be a little careful about that.
I basically apply the liquid highlighter. I'm just going with this on top of that. Now let me just get done with my eyebrows. I'm really tired now guys. <laughs> I'm proud of the ones who do like makeup tutorials so many times a week. Like wow, got some good health. Because my back is aching. Okay, this is from L'Oreal Pro Artist Genius Kit. And I really like it guys. So first I'm going to apply the Bro Gel. This is a really good one if you would like to get a good eyebrow kit. This is in the shade. Um, no shade. Don't see any shade as such. But this really suits my skin color. Not too dark, not too light. This is the bro gel, I've not even put the color here, so I'll put the color now. The color has to be taken very little guys because it's very pigmented. I'm going very light. I don't want like, oh my god, you've got that really black eyebrows. Like a wolf. So it's gonna be like very natural, but still not scanty. <sighs> oh my god. Now with the spoolie, I'm just going to brush it. <sighs> I guess my makeup is okay, not so bad. Taking the highlight again. life anything gli anything bling and glittery is happiness <sighs> yeah <sighs> think I need to need to apply this like very carefully left hand also is painting so badly no idea why yeah now for the lips I'm going with Maybelline Superstay Matte in the shade 75 Fighter oh my god this is like my favorite brown and looks nice on me so I think I should go for a little Light color when the eyes are so heavy, which I didn't plan to actually, but it became. It's not a very light shade, so it's okay. It's not on the face. I'm done. Oh, I'm done guys. I'm so tired. So now I'll get rid of my hair buff, change my clothes and pose. Yeah, I'm done with the posing. So I hope you like this video. Any complaints, you know, whatever you want to say, please don't be rude.